Stage 6 adds the motor unit and control system. Note that the model can be operated by hand without the motor if you wish. Begin the first phase using parts supplied with issues 40 and 41. Take the bottom base plate. Note that there is a channel around the upper surface perimeter to accommodate the drum sides. The legs fix to the lower surface, the underside of the plate. Fix each of the three legs to the bottom base plate using two M3 Allen key screws. Attach one self-adhesive rubber pad to the foot of each leg. The second phase of stage 6 adds the motor and gearbox supplied with issue 42. Turn the bottom base plate over and stand it on the legs. Lay the rubber pad for the motor's gearbox over the three central screw holes in the bottom base plate. Lay the gearbox on the rubber pad and align the three fixing holes. Fix the gearbox securely using three PM3 screws. Note that the jaws of the gearbox drive shaft should now be exactly central on the base plate. The third phase of stage 6 adds the control system supplied with issue 43. The power and speed controller has three pre-wired elements the speed controller, the on-off reverse switch and the power inlet socket. Fix the speed controller so that the wires project towards the gearbox. Secure it with two PM3 screws making sure the spindle for the knob goes through the base plate. Fix the power inlet socket with two tiny PM2 screws. Push the red plug from the gearbox firmly into the red socket from the speed controller. Push the blue plug from the gearbox firmly into the blue socket from the switch. Turn the base plate assembly over and push the knob firmly onto the protruding spindle of the speed controller. Note that there is a flat face on the spindle which aligns with a flat inner surface in the knob. Also from the underside, Fix the switch using two KM2.5 screws. The toggle of the switch should now protrude downwards. At this point in the assembly, the model's drum base can be fixed temporarily to the upper assembly using the three bolts supplied with issue 44. The M8 bolts insert from the bottom of the model and must align with the three threaded sockets in the underside of the engraved top plate. However, access to the inside of the drum is required for the next stage, so if you intend to continue assembling immediately, do not fix the three bolts for now. Stage 6 is now complete.